and Bellingham, which is oh sure, serial killer uh, capital of the world. <laughs> uh, there's a bar there where both Ted Bundy and the Green River Killer had been uh, patrons. Yeah. Bundy was born in Tacoma, and that's right. Yeah, the uh, hillside sniper, and also Stryker. the Beltway sniper. Right. Worst one was the Green River Killer. Yeah. Why is uh, Seattle, uh, the Pacific Northwest, such a magnet for serial killers? Any theories? You know, people come here to hide out. Well, they, they think, well, they look at the map and it's like... The two mountain rangers are just a couple hours away. Literally, you can hide bodies like a short drive from wherever you are. So, you know, convenient body dumping? Body dumping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's got to be part of it. You have all that lush greenery. You're looking to dump a body. Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've always thought the rain was kind of part yeah. of it. You get to that stretch from, yeah, maybe October to February, and by the time you're in February, I mean, you you want to you become a serial killer. I mean, you know, but, but, it's but hard. Apparently you can. <laughs> <laughs> Is Seattle a teeming hive of serial killers? Or am I just an idiot with a morbidly overactive imagination and an attraction to the dark, ugly side of life? Meet retired homicide detective Mike Sosinski, who for over 12 years specialized in cold cases in the region. We meet at the Shanghai Room in Greenwood, where Fred Moody tends bar. The North Star Diner next door provides nourishment. Crab, bacon, and melted cheese is, when discussing dump sites and ligature marks, a must. Why does it seem that there's a disproportionate number of serial killers in the Seattle and uh, Washington State area? Do you have a theory on this? Well, I don't think the most serial killers are, are when shopping for areas where they live. This is just where they ended up. Mm -hmm. well, when you're a detective for as long as I've been a detective and you're around um, very evil people, it's a place where I don't want you to have to come and look at through my eyes. And I could talk to you about it and all that, but I hope you never have to see it like I see it. Because you know it's not a, it's a different place. It's a place you don't want to be. And uh, how many uh, how many working serial killers do you think are out there right now in the uh, Washington State area? I would say, I mean, easily right now, easily over 75 uh, people out here that are, are probably serial murderers. The FBI oh, listed as 75. Uh, oh yeah. I don't care how nice it is here and you know, fun Seattle and stuff. You know, I know how many evil people are running around here. So, do you think these guys are holding down regular jobs? But yeah, they could they can just go on and have their you know a regular what it would seem to us as a regular life. They can also have wives. Yeah, like, I always worry about the, I always wonder about the wives. It's like, don't you notice you know the mementos and the unusual odor coming from the crawl space? I mean, what the John Wayne Gacy exactly? I mean, you know, and uh, dress. What's with the whole clown outfit? John? I mean, first of all, all you gotta do is put on a clown suit, and already <laughs> you're you're a suspect. Yeah. <laughs>